So every time I take a trip to the Yankee Candle Village, uh, of course I film a lot for my edited videos, but I always put a little time aside for just me, where I don't film, I just have my cup of coffee, and I walk around, and this is usually on a Monday, because Mondays it's incredibly quiet. And today is Monday, and it's very much quiet. So I thought I would just take a quick stroll to see some of the new changes and modifications. Uh, nothing has really changed. It's just they have cleaned up. I think because of COVID, they have uh, made a little bit more uh, walking space in some areas so people don't congregate. But the effect is actually really nice. All of the lights here in this snowflake factory, all of, all of the, the twinkle lights, the thousands of twinkle lights have been changed. I'm noticing that they have put these cooler lights on the trees compared to the warmer, more amber colored twinkle lights. And it just gives it that extra ooh, bone chilling feeling of being out uh, outdoors. And of course, the snow still does fall every four minutes here in the, the Snowflake factory. I've shown you all of this before, but the stone, the AC, the lights, the, the trees, the forested area, the sound effects, but something else I noticed has changed. By dimming the lights, which they finally did, it creates this complete nighttime enchanted feel. It completes everything that I felt that it, that it needed because you have the cool lights on the trees contrasted by the warm lights coming from inside the windows. Just walk through it. Oh my God, it really is. I'm getting chills. And I love these little tucked away little corners, these little tables. Uh, this little bear here, usually he is in front of a mountain lodge, the Yankee Candle scent. It's, this is usually like it's where it's on display for sale. But let's take a walk into the courtyard. They have changed the lights here too. I have seen this tree, the fluffy white snow, garland of ornaments and tinsel. With a little bit of imagination, you can totally believe that you're in a completely different place, in a different time. Somewhere we're in a, a fictitious fairyland Bavarian village. Donner is still hidden up there. I was so worried that with all of the modifications that they would take him down, he was lit and then the light burned out one day, years, must have been years and years and years ago, but they never took him down and they never replaced the bulb. And he continues to be, I think the coolest Easter egg in the whole village here. Donner just chilling by himself up on Hi. the rooftop. What would a trip to the Yankee Candle Village be? without a stop in the Nutcracker Castle. The facade looking as gorgeous as ever. This seat right here is usually my little secret spot. I come here, have a seat, this little bench, and there's a nice little place to put my elbow so I can relax. It's always nice and chilly in here. It smells wonderful. The air is always fresh because of that recycling fountain water. Even though I can't sit down and sip on my coffee, it's still very, very much relaxing. Uh, it looks positively gorgeous, but that's, that's no big surprise. And why not? Let's cross the bridge, the drawbridge, past the night and shining armor. Not so shiny, not so shiny, but they still do guard this wonderful Bavarian area here. And man, have they opened up this space. So this used to have, I believe it was Mike Kittrich's table, his dining room table, this huge ornate 
gargantuan table that had a lot of the items for sale on it. Well, they moved it uh, to open up all of this space. Also, the two thrones, the king and queen's thrones, are gone as well. Well, actually, there is a chair. I don't think that's the throne, though. I think that's just a different chair, but they have stuff on it to make sure that people don't have a seat because they're not allowed to do that. But a part of me, I have to admit, really does enjoy seeing it so open and n not as cluttered as it usually is. In fact, I kind of wish that maybe I took this opportunity to do uh, some photography for some upcoming uh, better made, a little bit more production value Yankee Candle Village tour. And here is my chair. Yes, this Jack Sparrow's pirate chair. I would love to have information on this thing, but as far as I know, this was a piece of furniture that Mike, Michael Kittrich II, Michael J. Kittrich, founder of Yankee Candle, uh, obtained at an estate fair or a state uh, estate sale, my best guess. If this ever disappears, I'll be very upset. But if they ever want to sell it, I know of a buyer who would very much want to take this guy home. All right, well, this has certainly been relaxing. I wanna thank you for joining me on this brief little look-see around the Yankee Candle Village on a very quiet time during a very different sort of time these days during COVID. Uh, not a whole lot of celebrating of Halloween this year for the Halloween preview party, but uh, it was fun nonetheless. I had wonderful time chit-chatting with a lot of folks who watched me on YouTube, people that I see here every year. It was uh, a really enjoyable time I will see you guys soon, hopefully from a place just as magical and fun and warming of the heart as the Yankee Candle Village. Have a great day.